Yeah, I realized there's not going to be a chance like this very often in life, is there? Snow in San Antonio. I've only seen it here twice before. I think I discussed it in a previous video. And people around here, some of them remember the 1985 snow. I was in high school just up the road here, a couple of miles. Uh, and we lived just past that, about three miles from here. And then, most recently in 2017, we had that snow in December. But nothing like this. This is more like it was in the 80s. So that's something, what, uh, 21 and 15 is 36 years? I wish Dad was here to see this. He died uh, in March of last year, just before the COVID explosion affected so many. And, um, you know, he first immigrated to this country uh, in 1958, and uh, he went to Evanston, Illinois. He was a postdoctoral fellow at uh, Northwestern. And so he was coming from Madras, you know. <laughs> My home state is a hot, dry, desert state. There's no snow. There's no snow in Tamil Nadu, you know. And uh, here he was, this slight, tiny Indian man, moving to Chicago in the, the autumn, you know. And he told me so many amazing stories about those days. Now, in 1924, they passed the, you know, basically anti-immigration against Asians and Indians were included in that. So no Indians were allowed to come here from India, you know, or Pakistan or Bangladesh or anywhere in those days. And uh, <clears throat> he was one of very, very few, you can imagine, here in this country at that time. Uh, so there were no people to even share with him stories about it. Snow. And, you know, moving to San Antonio, Texas, which is in many ways, from a climate standpoint, quite similar to where I was born. Hot, dry, generally. He would never have imagined, I think, snow like this. He used to make fun of me when I would prepare. I'm like, it's going to be snowing, Dad. It's gonna, it might snow. It might snow, I would say to him, and he would just smirk. This was his hat, this beaver hat, that he had in Chicago, and then he took with him to Idaho when he was a full professor tenured at the University of Idaho. And then he brought it down here to Texas with him, but I never once saw him wear it, you know? So I thought I'd just do five minutes in the snow, and um, this is for some several friends who have suddenly turned up. Kristen, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Tom, out of the blue, very nice, very shocking. And Jen and Barr, same way, just completely out of the blue. Uh, you know, they say the universe provides, and I, I needed this, and thank you for being in touch. And uh, hey, look, I managed to shave, guys. I never let anybody see my face, but I wanted, to, I wanted the snow to hit my face. I want it snow on my face, you know what I mean? Oh, that's good. All right, happy snow day. Ted Cruz is... No, I'm pointing the wrong way. Ted Cruz is about probably 450 miles that way as the crow flies. Relaxing on a beach with his family right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>